Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge AS level information technology paper 2 for February March 2025. I am going to do the database task. The video editing and spreadsheet is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So database task starts from step 6. Tabara sales stores details of its customers and wishes to use a simple database to store the data. Each part of the address and zip code are separated with at symbol. The telephone numbers and area codes must be stored as two fields. Open and examine the file m25customer.csv. Create a new evidence document at data dictionary for a database using this data where database will be normalized to first normal form. So let's open this file. So this is m25customer. Make sure everything is visible. So first let's give proper ID here, proper field name. Now according to the uh, first normal form, the data should be atomic and should be no repeating group or duplicate values. So first let's check if there are any duplicate values. Go to data, remove duplicates, give ok. So there were 4 duplicate values, they are removed. So we have 40 records now. Now we need to make the data atomic. So here you can see the name is, full name is given. So you can split this into for name and surname. Address and zip, address fields are given here. They are separated by at. So there are 4 address fields here and area code and telephone is also given. So this needs to be separated, the name and also area code and telephone in order to make the table to be in first normal form. So uh, we can insert a column here. Now I'll select column B on data, text two columns. Choose DM limited because we are going to split the uh, data based on the uh, separator. So here you can see the separator is the space between forename and surname. So click next. You can select space here so that it will be split into two columns based on the space. Click next. And what type of data it is you need to specify. Make it text. Click on finish. So you can see the for name and surname are given. So let's give a field name for it. For name, surname. Now the address field is should be split into four fields. So let's insert three more columns here. You want to split the address field. Select this column. Go to text two columns. Make sure delimited is selected. Click next. And remove space it should be separated by at so you can give at here so the data got separated into four fields click next finish so we got the address fields you can give address one address two You can replicate the value with the text. Adjust the column width. So now we have for name and surname, address 1, address 2, address 3 and address 4. Now area code and telephone number should be separated. So select this text to columns. Click next. Now this the here the separator is a space. So remove this and select space. Click next. Make sure it is set to text. Otherwise, the leading zeros will be discarded. We need it as text. So, set it to text. Then finish. So, this is area code. 
and this is telephone. So you can see we have atomic data now, all of the data are atomic and we have already removed the repeating groups. So now this data is in first normal form. We need to create a data dictionary for this. So go to your evidence document. This is step 6, data dictionary. So in data dictionary, we need to give data about the table which we are going to create. So we need to give field names, the field type, field length, the validation techniques. And which field can be set as the primary key. So insert table. Let's give five tables, five columns and uh, 10 rows. We can delete or add as we require. Give auto fit to condense, give OK. So first you need to give the name of the table. So let us give the name of the table as customers. Now we need field name. Field type, field size, format, type of key, insert one more columns to the right and here you can write the validation. Now I need this field names. You can copy this field names. Right click and paste test transpose and paste so that it's easy for us to copy to the table. To the data dictionary so copy it again then we can paste it we need one more row for the telephone so for the customer id the data type is you can see the data it is numeric integer so the field type is numeric and the format you can set it as integer Next we have phone name, surname, address, address fields, all the address fields are text, all of them are text. So let's give text data type for all the address fields. You can give approximately 25 characters for each of them. So the field size can be set to 25. The address for it has only four characters. So you can for address for it can be four. The area code is also Text and telephone should be also treated as text. So for the area code, the number of characters is 5. So this is text and then 5. Telephone also text. The number of characters is 6. So the field size is 6. 
Now customer ID is the primary key. Your primary key here. Now the address for format is four digits. So you can give the format as four zeros, which represents four digits. Area code also five digits. And for telephone, it will be six digits. These are the formats. Your primary key and validation you can give required or not now. So this is the data dictionary. You can save the evidence document. In the file edit the data so that it can be used to recreate this database. Sort the data into customer number order. So we have already edited the file. We can remove this. Now let's sort the data. Sort customer ID in ascending order. It should be saved as data followed by your sender number, candidate number. So save it as data followed by your center number and candidate number. It can be saved as CSV file because we are going to export into the database. Save. So that is done. Use your data dictionary and the file saved in question 7 to create the database normalized to first normal form. So let's create the database, use access. Blank database. Save the database inside your folder. The name of the database is customer followed by your center number, candidate number. Followed by your center number and candidate number, save the database, create. Now you can import the table, go to external data, data source and select text file because it is CSV. Select your folder and the data file. Let's close it. Now you can import first row contains field names. Click next. Next primary key is the customer ID. Go to advanced. So customer ID is set to numeric integer. All these are text. You can set address for also as text. Area code should be text and telephone number should be text. Give OK. You can name the table as custom. Finish. Go to the design view. Now we can set the field size for name. The field size is 25, surname also 25, address 1, address 2, address 3, address 4 we had set to 4 characters so you can give 4, area code is 5 and telephone number was 6 characters. So save. So we have imported this table to form the database.
So this is the end of the database task. You can check the description for the links to other tasks. Thank you for now.